Breaking news future doctors. The NEET PG 2025 cutoff. Will it drop? Will it rise? Or will it stay the same and crush thousands of dreams? Let's decode the trends, expose the facts and spill the secrets no one is talking about. So buckle up because this video is gonna be a wild ride. First, let's talk about what happened in the last few years. Need PG cutoff have been dropping like my motivation after 10 minutes of study. But why? What's causing this madness? Year 2020, boom, a 20 percentile drop, too many vacant seats and National Board of Examination had no choice but to bring it down. Year 2021, here we go again, another 15 percentile drop, more seats but fewer takers. In 2022, deja vu, another 15 percentile drip, seems like a pattern right? And in 2023, SC, ST and OBC at 257 and UR at 291, but still students struggling for seats. Hmm, are we seeing a pattern? Let's talk about the biggest reasons why cutoffs have been dropping faster than my Wi-Fi during online lectures. Reason number one, explosion of medical seats. From 2014 to 2024, MBBS seats have increased by 130%. More seats equal to more chances. Or does it? Reality check. A lot of these seats are in less preferred branches like anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. Students want clinical subjects, but these seats not getting filled. Reason number two. Quality versus quantity. More medical colleges are opening every year, but a lot of them lack proper facilities, teaching faculty and patient flow. Result, students are choosy and many seats stay vacant despite lowering cutoff. Reason number three, counseling drama. Last year, NEET PG 2024 was delayed three times from March to July to June and finally to August. And the counselling process for NEED PG 2024 is still ongoing with a special stray round and which will lead to more delay and confusion. If the process keeps stretching, the National Board of Examination will be forced to lower the cutoffs once again. Imagine waking up to see the cutoff dropped. For some, it's party time and for others, it's chaos. But what if it rises instead? Let's break it down. If the cutoff drops, more students will qualify, more competition in counselling rounds. Second, higher chances of securing a seat, but top branches may still be tough to grab. Third, relief for borderline candidates, but merit based seat allocation still applies. If the cutoff rises, fewer students will qualify, higher stress for borderline candidates. Second, tougher competition, more pressure to score high in need PG and possible shift in branch preference. Many might have to settle for alternatives. A cutoff drop isn't a golden ticket and a cutoff rise isn't the end of the world. At the end, your rank preferences and seat availability matters more. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you liked it and found it informative. And if you did, please press that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content ahead. If you have any doubts regarding NEET PG 2025, please list them on the comments below and we'll be very happy to answer that. Till then, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.